got the third game in this tiebreaker. 42 is one map away from making it into WGL. Fly has to save. Rogue Warriors. Fly has to save himself with the 2-0. He also has to uh, save TH with that 1-0. Uh, with that 2-0. Because if Fortitude just wins one map, TH is out as well. And Fly and TH both have to go through the wildcard qualifier. Man, this is... Feels kind of insane that we are one map away from having two former WGL winners not participating. Shows us, I guess, how stacked this year's tournament is going to be. Absolutely. Once again, we start on Northern Isles. This seems to be like the standard thing. Nowadays, we got, oops, sorry. We yeah. got fly in the bottom left. We got fortitude in the upper right. Is it the deciding map already? We'll see in it. Bit. Oh, fly with an ultra fast tech. No barracks, no shop, just alta burrow tech. I wonder if this is a reaction to the build that Forty was playing earlier against TH. What Fortitude showed was he creeps the green camp first and then swerves around the side close to the natural going for the next A green camp, but the bigger camp. green camp after and he protects the main just with peasants. But then again, couldn't the Farseer also pressure this? Like this was... Pretty nice for Fortitude earlier, getting a fast level 2, which can always be always be a problem on this map. And we see it here again. AM gets the camp and then moves over to the bigger Murloc camp. Oh, and Fly did not see the game? No, I guess he did. Farseer is returning again. Doesn't want to allow the level up for the AM here too easily. All right. Wolves in the main. Already going for the Arcane Tower. Fly, of course, can't give these wolves away too easily, as TH did, so he resummons them, denies the XP efficiently. Fortitude, can he play his game now on Northern Isles? Can he be the one pressuring with Footman in the Orc base? He's creeping at the same time, and that's his level 2. Fly was chasing after these footies way too long. Yeah, right? Like, these footies are obviously just distraction, and he can't even kill them. And the AM now gets to the green. The Farseer could have been up here. Could have summoned more wolves. Could have found some kills. Maybe some last hit steals. But he didn't. And that's level 2 again pretty easily for Fortitude. The tech, however, is super delayed compared to Flies. It's almost a 2 minute lead here for the Orc. However, Grunt numbers are going to be rather low. As he skipped the barracks for so long. And the Farseer, uh, the AM, excuse me, is still far away from level 3. Alright, I think so. Okay. Boots now to run away from everything that threatens him. Tier 2 tech almost done. So this was an Arcane Tower investment Players, and Boots. That's pretty much it for Fortitude. This early wasn't really expensive. He also has, like, three footmen. Yeah. Especially for his standards, not too much. But you don't need it later anyway. So maybe we're going to see a more defensive... Fortitude mid game. Because he has no level 3, he has only 3 footmen. Yeah, he's considering right now can he dive the base? How good of an idea would that be? And I think without level 2 elementals and with only 3 footies, I can't yeah. see that doing much at all. Me neither. Uh, actually, he has 2 more over there. Okay, so it's a total of 5 footies. Well, that makes things a little better. But he knows the TC is going to be out any second and he can absolutely go stomp first. Thank you, Saron, for the sub. Okay, he is going for this base, trying to cancel some heal selves. Always nice to just burn a little bit of gold for the opponent without much Players effort, without much risk. Very controlled game here. Nobody daring to do too much. Nobody daring to... Put himself in a, at a big disadvantage. For example, if you dive into an orc base and you don't find any cancel and you lose five footies for it, that is a big disadvantage. TC is out. 
Didn't decide whether Aura or Stomp first. Should be Stomp with this, I guess. And it is. But no Chain Lightning. Hero Focus is going to be dangerous. Man, I kind of missed today, like, the... How many times will Fly lose the Blade Master game? That's the uh, bad thing about the fast year opening for me. Yeah, we um, pretty sure won't be seeing a Blade Master here at all today. No matter how many tiebreakers we're gonna have. MK rifles, Arcane Sanctum. This seems set in stone for Fortitude. Not experimenting with the build without rifles. Yeah, fly with the classic Lin build here. It seemed. Ah, okay. I thought it was gonna be. Two Grunts, two Shaman, two Kodos, but no, he goes Windrider. Yeah, more creeping. I think he needs that. With all the distraction in the early game, he needs some damage. He needs to pick up uh, speed for this TC. Fortitude again, moving very aggressively across the map. Imagining that he's going to be finding Creepjack over here at the natural, but uh, no. He's not there, however, gets to place a sentry ward, so he's going to know perfectly when the TC is actually coming in. And sees him swerving around the corner. A player's forces are under but Fly is creeping patiently. Just the small camps first. And once you have like two, maybe three shaman and a wind rider and level two, then it's really hard for the human to find a strong creep jack. Good information by Fly. Nah, shouldn't result in the kill, really. Oh, wants this Tosca. Ah, a little too early. Alright, Fortitude attack. now coming in for the Creepjack, but again, I, I don't see this really doing much. The TC took a bit too much damage from Creeping, but okay, in we go. Purge, Watch Elemental gone right away. Oh, and the AM getting Purge, getting stomped, and probably getting forced to TP. Yeah, Purge. Stomp ready in a second. And that did not do much. Mm. Also a footman dying without getting the shaman in the end. Okay, slowly but steady. Fly is claiming a tiny bit of a lead here. Expo up. This is where it all comes down to. Level 3 TC helps a ton. Yeah, I think this was a mistake by Fortitude. I think he should have just placed the sentry. See, okay, he's not creeping early. Then after the Scorpions fall back to the lab and show the MK level 3. But losing that TP especially is dangerous. And of course, as so often, early map control goes to the Orc. And with that, shop control. And that should be easy. Heal scroll plus invo. And then of energy, 100 extra mana for the Mountain King. And in this case, it's really, really, really good. Shop control is the set. Heal scroll, invo. Parry and I really like that parry up on the TC. Maybe you should even consider buying it late game. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, definitely helps. So do the rune bracers. Okay. Oh, wow. He's really tanky now. Scorpions for fortitude. Ring also good for that tank here. Another ring. But here's the creep jack. Good mana on these shaman and chain lightning available. It doesn't look like Fortitude is ready to fight, man. No. Nope. Three rifles, three priests, no level three on the MK. TC marching forward. He's waiting to dodge the storm bolt here with the Idwal. I can feel it. Oh, and he runs into the red camp and the AM is trapped. There's no TP. One purge hit him. Another purge coming in. There's more purges left. But the AM may even be making it out, dude, but the creeps. They're destroying these rifles in the back and the AM falls to the chain lightning. A complete disaster for Fortitude. The one map he needs, he's not going to get on Northern Isles. Absolutely not. Fortitude is shocked, literally, and backstabbed. And this is how you end up with only 40 supply and dropping. The CC is having the time of his life. Even the ice uh, Stormbolt thingy ends up on the Mountain King. Yeah, taste your poison, my friend. It's another Stormbolt, but also another Storm. No shaman anymore, but man, this is a slaughter. Now, to be completely fair, Fly did lose a lot of units there as well, but Exposer. didn't lose a hero, and it's going to have the expansion up in just a second's time. There's also a footman still in the stomach. These peasants are all dying. 
TC almost level 4. Yeah. Bars are getting close to 3. Line now says, okay, there's no expansion here. Not too much to fear. And if suddenly the AM should be back from the tavern or something, you still got the TP. Yeah. Which you may need to use. But very easy to predict this MK's mana. There's no mana pots, there's no aura running. You can see exactly how much danger <laughs> there is. Yeah, there's, there's nothing really that can surprise him. I like that. Good micro force as well. Sending the grunts back, sending the Kodo back. Oh, even trying to munch. That didn't work. Wolves chasing this. All the peasants died, I think, in the end. And on the way home, we can take a look at what the merchant has yeah. in store. Uh, uh, okay, okay now. <laughs> Needs a heal scroll, I think. And a second in wool. This makes life for the Archmage so hard. Yeah, steals it away. He really didn't need the invul, as the TC already had one for Farseer, you don't really ever need invul, but stealing it away is a big deal. Good saves by Fly overall, heal selves on pretty much everything, more Shaman. And what can Fortitude still do with this army? Now that the TC is on level 4 and rising, what's his plan? He has a workshop. But... What's coming out of that workshop? A player's forces are under attack. Nothing yet. Hmm. That seems like he's with absolute certainty expecting Zeppelin drops. But uh, such an attempt has not yet been launched. Oh that stomp though! Oh baby! Not too much follow-up, still looks nice, however. And gets a priest kill on the left hand side. Unpreventable. Archmage is back okay. Clap, of course, rocks. We have a mana potion that TC and still a heal scroll. And he's going full hero focus once again. Man, the kill count today is incredibly high. Health stone consumed. Militia getting uh, welcomed by the storm bolt. And what now? That was the last stomp. Speed scroll is going to run out as well. Fortitude might be able to turn this around now with the next clap. Two that's more. Cool. What's going down? Oh my god, is he doing it again? Just like the last time on this map. TC surround, almost surrounded. Gets another lightning shield and has the TP chain lightning. That's a lot of kills for the two shocked again. This is a dwarf though. Doing a good job. One, two, three. The code is also gonna go down. He's got a storm ball. This level four MK. Uh oh. A player's forces are Double, Double level four. Oh wow. TC survives to the right hand side. That's fine. Wolves attack this rifleman. It's level two stronghold. Oh, oh, that Farsia needs the invul oh. ASAP. Gets it. Chain lightning again for one more kill. What a crazy game. What crazy games today. Dude, the fact that Fortune is holding in so holding on so well here is remarkable. He was supposed to be kind of out of this game after the top left fiasco at the red camp. But he's hanging in there. By no means is it a very great situation by Fortitude, but it's still a level 4 MK with a pendant of energy. Maybe if he finds another one. Fly was filthy rich though. Can replenish this army once again. Double mana potion. Maybe that is a picture that we should get used to. Hurry up the vitality for the Mountain King. Super tanky. Archmage again with a blizzard build. And also no TP. A little hesitant to go in though. His front line is not that big. He's got the TC and only two grunts. Some illusions are gonna create a false front line. Oh, and a rifleman getting intercepted. These are valuable units that Fortitude cannot so easily replace being only on one base. Another Stormbolt, another hero focus, but hard to reach. Fly trying to turn it around. Oh, is it that hard to reach? Ooh, there was a TP ready. Illusion soak up a lot of damage again. Stomp is good. Invo potion the Mountain King too. Gray. Ah, good micro, but then sends it back into the fight and sacrifices this drug. Oh, dodges the stomp. Man, is this reminiscent of the last game we had on Northern Isles? Chain lightning countered by a heal scroll. Not without losses though. And again, the rally point wrong. Another donation to fly. Did Fortitude earlier sell his pendant of energy? I don't see it anymore. True. It's gone. Is that the age we live in nowadays? 
Mana potion, more storm bolts. This TC has a greatly extended mana pool. Another storm, oh. but he's dead. Yep, goes for the MK. Bye, bye, little dwarf. And I guess there's another target. That's the Archmage. And he stomps him to the ground. Level 5, level 4, GG. This is not how Fortitude qualifies. Not on Northern Isles. Almost fought his way back with claws and tear, but not quite. That was uh, too painful what happened there in the top left. And that early mid-game move, the AM overextending so much into the creep jack, costing in the TP, that was the beginning of the end there. And you know what? I'm starting to feel like we were all kind of worried that this might be the Crypt Lord meta. I think this is the mana potion meta. Yeah, right? This kind of looks like it. Yeah. The normal mana pots from the shop, of course, everybody can afford them. But on MK and TC especially, they're pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. All right. Fly with the win on Northern Isles. The map pick for Fortitude then should be Lost Refuge. Um, the other one is CH. Wait, what was, the, what was the first map? Northern Isles. That was the first map, yeah. Um, yeah, Concealed or LR. LR I could see go either way. Yeah, right. Kind of hard to say. And Concealed as well. I think they're both... like. Actually, I like LR for the human because of the whole Shadow Priest thing. So Can I would imagine punished, LR... Though? Okay. <sighs> right. This this day is crazy. It's just one matchup, but the variety we had in like five matches already is really, really cool. And has so much hero focus. If we go to a second tiebreaker, mm -hmm. is TH gonna off race again? He shouldn't. Is he gonna off race as undead? <laughs> <laughs> Playing with Crypt Lord. Or is he going to off-raise as Night Elf? That would be a badass move. That would be rough, though. I mean, with TH, everything is possible, right? We shouldn't outrule anything. He could play random, of all things. He actually could, yeah. Map 2, coming up. It's concealed. All right, human pick concealed for fortitude. Well then, let's go. Fly was utterly destroyed here earlier by TH. TH had a very strong early game with a potent creep route quickly leading to level three, which included a lab creep first. Seems to be becoming more and more popular. It's by no means a totally new thing that is revolutionary these last few weeks. We've seen a few lab creeps sprinkled in here and there over the last at least three, four months, I'd say, already. Maybe even longer than that. But not necessarily all the time. The footman movement will tell us a lot. And footman is not going to the rock column. So I guess no lab creep here for fortitude. Yeah. By the way, once again, since I saw it in chat, if you have any feedback towards this new stream design, anything really, please put it in Discord. If you put it in Twitch chat, it just goes away in a blink of an eye and we won't read it. So the Discord things stay. We can read them after the cast. Would be nice. Thank you, guys. Up so. protection to start things for the archmage fly is moving across with the grunt this time not skipping the barracks at all shop of course a little bit later to still have a fast tech uh yeah and once again the far seers drop early game always prevent level 2 am as much as you can but it's not always that easy to print level 2 or even level 3 
The green camp outside the main will certainly be used for militia creeping soon. But it's gonna be a little while still. First has to be the tech. Could be starting now for 42. There it is. And it's a little bit behind the orcs, but not by too much. Is he really pushing into the orc base already? <laughs> that would be such a fortitude thing to do. Almost getting us around here at the forest, but I don't think he has the necessary damage. Blocks are good to force heal selves early. But so far, everything is under control for both of the players. Yeah, Fly cancelled that shot right away, even before the AM did damage to it. I think that was a little bit too early. If he lets that take a bit of damage, maybe he can return some damage, but... Whatever. He's still gonna get the shop up, I imagine. But Fortitude is prioritizing being annoying and canceling this or canceling the burrow. And with the militia across the map, now he does have level 2. And that's the aura. Canceling the burrow would not prevent the TC, but the next grunt. And that would slow down the TC in the process. So that was yeah. good. That's a big deal. That means not three grunts when the TC comes out. Pretty poor borrow attack micro. No experience for the Farseer at all here. Minor thing. But yeah, no third grunt. That means TC cannot creep the gold mine right away. Mm -hmm. Unless the Farseer wants to take part. But that would be a lot of experience being soaked up where you don't really want it. Fortitude moving away, healing up a little. Wolves are scouting for some movement. Sees it now. But Farsia sees the footman in the north. Okay, Spirit Lodge, TC. Still waiting for that burrow. Still waiting for that grunt. On the other side we get a shop. No. Ah, I was about to say no blacksmith yet, but it's in the corner. So we're going to see rifles again for Fortitude. One map. All he needs is this one map. He doesn't even need to get the win. And then the tiebreaker would end, would be lifted. Thank you, Wander Brown, with the 11-month resub. Nice. How reminiscent this would be of the January Warcraft Gold Finals when Fortitude killed rogue warriors in their clan war for like $30,000 or something. Didn't look too hot in the WGTL. But today he's really prepared. MK second, obviously. Does have the third grunt now somehow, actually, the TC. But going for the smaller camp first. Does not want to attempt the big expo creep just yet. Yeah, so that is a cool delay. Close to level 3 now. Again, a beastery. This time with an earlier war mill. So it could be Kodos first. Oh, the AM is so close. 12 eight experience away. One single skeleton. But time is ticking. More yeah. and more shaman are coming out. And once there's like three shaman, it's pretty orc easy for the orc on tier 2 to hold early pushes from the human. It's also very hard for the Archmage to find a skeleton in this matchup. And on this map, but maybe he can ah, steal something too late so far. Yeah, just too late. Uh, purge. There goes one. Trying for the deny. Ooh. Oh, nicely done. If this was Dota 2, he would be getting experience from this from these denies and he would be level three. <laughs> Yeah, that is maybe attack. something we shouldn't uh, implement into our game. Otherwise, you can feed yourself experience. <laughs> Just stand in base, kill your Just own units over and over. <laughs> Necrostrat OP. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Imagine you could dispel your own stuff. Oh yeah. Summon skeletons, dispel with a destroyer, boom, level 5. That's the next grubby level 10, 10, 10 video on YouTube. <laughs> oh, purge on the AM. Storm follow up. Ooh, with a chain lightning, he might be dead, but. There is not. He's still level 1. Yeah. Would have survived it anyways, I guess, but. Again! Losing the TP rather easily. 
rather in a wasted manner. Yeah. And with how hero focus heavy this entire day is, he shouldn't do that. He will need it later in the big fights. Thank you, Zero Yaiba, for the 4 month resub. Always fun to watch your streams. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fine, level 3 AM. Boy, oh boy, that took a while. That's an unusual creep here to see this early in the mid game. Going for the red camp. Even investing a stomp with a pendant. That's a little easier of a decision to go for. And that is level 3 level up. Warsong Battle Drums. Okay. Doesn't need Kodos for this then, I guess. Oh, wait. It did stack on the PTR, right? Does wait. it still stack? It did stack on the PTR? I read that on Reddit, but it doesn't anymore. Yeah. It certainly doesn't here. Otherwise, it could be, uh, would be the Command Aura, but okay, then they fixed it. Dude, I still remember a game on Turtle Rock where I saw an orc playing against Undead Mass Headhunters. He had upgraded Kodo Aura, of course. He had the Warsong Battle Drums when they still stacked. And he had... The Flute? Illyria's Flute. <laughs> Berserkers had like 50,000 damage. No exaggeration. Thank you, Smooth Moose, for the three-month reset. And Zero Yaba with the four months. Thank you as well. It says, always fun to watch your streams. I think you already said that. Um, Stomp Bolt. Uh, Stomp Surround. MK is trapped in a corner, but he has the invul. So Block Fly has thing. to open it up. Does he though? Oh, stomp again! Last second, we we've seen this multiple times today. This is so clutch. Games could be decided in a blink of an eye. Fly about to lose seven supply here. Chain lightning. He wants this MK oh. dead. Big heal potion though. All that damage invested for nothing. Yeah, big overextension. Kodo falls as well. This is not looking too good for Fly. Suddenly, he needs mana pots on this TC right away. Thank you, Rabbit He's Tails, for the four month reset. This expansion, yeah, so cancelled. Again. Just like Louis C.K. Wow. 2018 joke out of nowhere. <laughs> He's still cancelled. <laughs> True. Dude, this is gonna be problematic for Fly. He has had great comebacks before, so let's not exclude a rubber band for Fight effect. Mana potion again. Pendant on the fast here, by the way. Maybe he just used the clarity and wanted to be more efficient. Shaman about to fall. Creep spot not finished. Hero focus time again. Why is trouble? But that TC could change everything. Lightning shield is good. There's an invul. And the town portal on this Archmage down to 50%. Dispels everywhere. Stomp once more. Not on the heroes for once. Well, on the Mountain King, but there's no focus on that. This Wyvern is still up against all these rifles. That's almost a miracle. Invo Potion used. T uh, Fly is burning through his mana. That was the last Stomp for a while. Yeah, this Fly is all over the place. Hard to tell who it's going better for at the moment. Slumber Unit Stein on both sides. Double oh, that's level more mana. That's another Stomp in a second. And what's left for Fly? 41 supply. A lot of these blue units are just militia. Yeah, he's got one priest and two heroes right here, 42 guys. But it's... almost MK4. <laughs> two Kodos. Archmage in trouble once again. There's no chain lightning here. But in a bit, this uh... aura TP out. <sighs> Freaking nail biter games today. Yeah, this is a good one. Expo has fallen, which is usually very bad for the orc, oftentimes a death sentence, but he's got a supply lead, he's got a hero level lead, he forced the enemy TP, he can get more creeps at the fountain, and free healing. How amazing, by the way, is the sentry ward for fortitude, on a scale from 1 to 2. Two players' forces are under attack. Flies back in this game, man! Creeping rat spawn. Mountain King close to level 4. Can he do something? Hutchmage is playing with fire, man. Checking the lab. Not opened yet, so no Zeppelin plays for him. Well, the last boots. Well, can't get lucky every day. The 
the item here for Fortitude as well. Take big forever. healing, big invul, big mana, all really good. The beast also good, I would say. Yeah. If he gets to high rifle numbers again, it's good. Oh, this time no Blizzard build. It's 2 2 now. Did the sentry see the peon going over there, by the way? He saw the expansion. Nice. Or, the okay. player's forces are under attack. Yeah, 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 for sure. Dude, for dude, I feel like he's playing pretty risky here. A moment ago, he had like one priest, two rifles, a green jack. <laughs> Could have been real painful. And the Archmage was at 150 HP or something. Medal of Honor for these priests. And now Fly Caesar, damn. All that good stuff is gone. So this was definitely a risk, but worth it so far. But the TC is getting dangerously close to five. Fortitude Sentry there was also really nice. Yes. Saw the orcs approach and falls back in time. Very smart. Defensive Sentry. Sentry is all over the freaking place. You think they are still uh, too strong? Yes. <laughs> ah, that's a... Wouldn't surprise me if suddenly Hitman shows up in chat. Sentries are stupid! <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, big, big, big level ups around the corner for Fly. How can he get it? This is exactly what Fortitude prevented. So he has to get the level 5 4 in the fights. He doesn't have these spells to engage. There we go, boys. Oh, that was a quick one. He doesn't have a mana. Oh, he does have a mana potion plus the pendant. This is a lot of. War Stomp and Remo, you need to change your catchphrase now. Five seconds stun on a seven second cooldown. The first <laughs> time I can officially say it. <laughs> it's still really good, but TC once again was pressured hard. Too low HP to re engage with the MK being so strong. And the chase now with the boots with a storm ball. This should be an easy Kodo kill. He's holding the mana though. Following all the way to the fountain. Mm -hmm. Ooh, is that the greatest idea, especially against Kodos and TC and Grunts? We'll see about that. Fly just wanted the hero levels here. Perch on the ultimate once again. One Grunt hurt. And the TC comes in. Oh, dodges again with the invul. Fortitude is so good with that. Stormbolt. TC out of that fight for now. Everything else still green. Oh my. Second hero battle. Stormbolt, clap, right click, but it's not oh. enough. Stun for five seconds. Can he escape? Is he surrounded? Chain lightning, no items on him. Fortitude, a little bit of healing here. Tries to clap his way through, but there is no way out. And the carry hero falls. Chain lightning, and now it's time to clean this up. Next Stomp only hits two targets, but those it hits hard. Moving forward. No enough slow here to keep everything controlled and without an MK this human army has been neutralized and now decimated as well as the AM will fall. GG is called. That's the 2-0 for fly and we go into overtime. Dude, Remo, we tie the tiebreaker. Fly saves not only himself but also his rogue warrior ally TH. Unbelievable. It's a 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. I did just, not expect that. Just like mathematically, out of all the results that we could have had, how low is this probability? It must be super low. But every now and then, it happens. And all right. It's one out of 12, right? Ah, uh, uh, no, it's more. Uh, I don't it's know. all the map scores and everything. I don't know. Um, like, it's four possibilities for every match. 2 0 2 1 1 2 0 2. Yeah, true. Damn, my math on point! Um, all right. Then let's reset everything. And let's do this again. Yeah. Let's reshuffle this deck. Let's uh, take a break for a little. I'm sure the players need it. And let's do, do think, this one more time. Do you think the Chinese care if they need a break or not? Well, they haven't started immediately yet. So 
maybe they're giving them a bit of a breather. All right. We take a breather as well. Five minutes and then we're back. If you have feedback for our overlay, we can go through all the scenes once again. Please let us know in Discord, on Twitter, on Facebook, everywhere but Twitch chat, please. So this is the starting scene. This is the break screen. Bucked at the moment, but this will be fixed. This is... Oh yeah, the solo streams. We haven't seen them before. Hi, solo. Solo there as well. Remo's back here with the, all the matches we have. In between the sets, we got this one. Uh, we also got a bracket screen, which looks pretty dope, I would say. But, I mean, not trying to influence you in any way. The player information with uh, pictures for the players we got pictures from. A map selection as well as the tail of the tape. Yeah, if you guys have any feedback, let us know. We throw you into a little break and then we're back. <laughs> 